Okay, so this first tutorial is covering how to set up render layers in Maya for Arnold. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you set your project. Um, so I'm going to go into my project folder so I can see them all and click set. This is a really important step so that your renders output to the correct place. Uh, and then I'm going to open my scene and open my scene that I'm working with. So in this scene, um, everything's textured, there's lighting, and I've set up a render camera, which I've named, so I know which one it is. So it's all ready to go and be rendered. So the first thing uh, that we need to set are our sort of generic render settings, um, which is on the common tab. Um, so I've uh, um, opened the render settings by clicking this little clapperboard with the gear icon. First thing I'm going to do is set a name. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert scene. This will um, take the name of whatever your scene is called and use that. And then I'm going to do a forward slash to create uh, this as a folder. And then within that folder, I'm going to right click and choose scene again. And this is going to name uh, my file the same as my scene name. For the image format, uh, because we're rendering um, different layers, I want to use an EXR. Uh, and I want to make sure, it's really important, that this merge AOVs is checked. This will mean that all the render passes render into a single EXR. If this isn't checked and you're rendering, for example, 10 different render passes, you'll end up with um, 10 or 11 EXRs, including the beauty pass. Uh, for this example, I'm using a single frame, so this is name.extension is fine. If you're rendering a sequence, then you can choose name, uh, hash, extension, and you can set your render, uh, set the frames that you're rendering there. I'm going to make sure that I've got my correct camera set, which is my render cam final. And then lastly, I'm going to choose um, my image size. Most likely you'll be rendering in HD or 4K. Just for the quickness of my renders for this example, I'm going to choose HD 720. The next step is actually setting up the passes. So we want to go to the AOVs tab. Really simple. You have a list of all the different render passes that you can export. Um, you need to choose the ones that you want and move them over into the active AOVs, which will be the ones that will render. Um, there's many different combinations that you can export. Um, this is going to give me a multicolored pass that will then allow me to isolate different parts of the image to further uh, edit them in the sort of color correction. Uh, Z depth will be used for things like creating um, depth of field uh, in post rather than rendering straight out of Maya, uh, giving us more control. And also, you can use it to create things like fog. Diffuse and specular are going to be what I combine together to create my beauty. Uh, pass and have a bit more control. Um, if you want even more control then you could export the diffuse direct and indirect, specular direct and indirect and then build your um, beauty up from that. But for this example I'm just going to use diffuse and specular. So with all those sets and my merge AOVs, my EXR sets, that is ready to render. So if you want to at this stage, you could go to render and render sequence and that will render out an EXR that contains all of those. I'm also going to cover in the next tutorial how to render a render layer um, and then we're going to render that all together. So I'm not going to click render sequence yet. Um, just to note, if you don't have a full license of Arnold, batch render is going to render with a watermark. So make sure that you use render sequence and that won't render with a watermark.